Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 75. In this Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 of the software, we're going to talk about another new feature. And the new feature that we're going to talk about is the Position on Page Automatic Attribute. And let's go ahead and get started. First thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to your toolbar and select a quick shape. And we're going to select the rectangle and go ahead and draw a rectangle in your workspace. And then I'm going to actually zoom out to about a 50%. So go ahead and click that. And so you can see the whole page. And I'm going to select the selection tool and move this rectangle somewhat closer to the bottom edge of this page. Now let's go ahead and right click on this rectangle and select position on page. And in that extended menu, let's pick the option automatic. And let's go ahead and resize the bottom edge of our page. And you'll notice that if I make it smaller or taller, it behaves as a footer object. Now let's go ahead and move that rectangle towards the top of our page. And let's go ahead and resize the bottom edge of our page again. And you'll notice that the rectangle stays in a fixed position. And the reason for that is because the automatic tries to detect how close your object is towards the bottom edge of the page or the top edge of your page. And if it's at the top edge of your page, it's going to behave as a fixed object. But if you move it down towards the bottom of your page, it's going to behave as a footer object. So the automatic is going to automatically detect if that object is a fixed object or a footer object. Now you might be thinking, well, shouldn't I just leave it to automatic? Wouldn't that be easier? Well, let me show you something else. What if you had your rectangle in the center of your page and then you resize the page up and down? It'll behave as a footer object. But what if you wanted that object to still move with the page as if it were, you know, a footer object? Well, because of scenarios like this one, you may want to actually set it to position on page footer. So no matter how close it is to the top edge of your page or if it's in the center of the page, it's going to still be perform like it's a footer object. So if I move this way up to the top and I resized it, you'll see that it still behaves like a footer object. No matter where it's placed at, it can be in the center of the page and it's still going to perform like a, a footer object. So hopefully that explains the, the primary differences between using automatic, which switches back and forth between fixed and footer, and also hopefully that helps you better understand the scenarios in which you would want to use um, a fixed option versus a footer option versus an automatic option. So if this tutorial was helpful, uh, please leave us a thumbs up, embed or share our video, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And hopefully you stay tuned for future tutorials and uh, have a great day.